everybody. It is Saturday morning here in beautiful Las Vegas and we have a lot going on today. First and foremost, Kyle is, um, what are you doing? I'm installing a wind damper. Yeah, Kyle's installing what I have on my camera that makes it look like a troll doll because it's super helpful when you happen to be outside and it's windy outside. It makes it so the wind is not quite as obnoxious and annoying. So, and I have tons of extra fur here and we cut off a little bit of a strip for him and some double-sided tape. Today, we are actually going to the Hoover Dam. I'm showing Kyle and McKenna the Hoover Dam, which is right on the border of Nevada and Arizona, right on the Colorado River, and it's super, super cool. We packed ourselves some lunches. I have some hard-boiled eggs, some bell peppers, a sandwich, a protein bar in case they get hungry, and some salt and pepper for hard-boiled eggs, some extra stuff like that, and then <laughs> so many sandwiches, some extra, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. I know, I was gonna say, but McKenna's not even down here. She missed your pun. Oh, you know what you should have done? You should have like recorded a before and after. So like blow on it, and then you can see if it actually makes a huge difference or not. Yeah, let's do it right now. Yeah, do it. All uh, right, what's up guys? Wait, <laughs> did McKenna record? McKenna, did you record? <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Well, that's what it sounds like when wind is blowing on it. And we're gonna see what it does. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, shedding, it's like shedding. That's hilarious. Stick it right on. Make it's yours a little less furry. Yeah, it's so long. <laughs> I don't want to like droop out in front of the camera. Yeah, that's true. As you can see, I'm not a hairstylist. Look at it. It looks like it looks like a like a mohawk, like really flat across the top. That's hilarious. That should be good. That should be good. Hopefully that makes a difference. If not, now my camera just looks stupid. <laughs> but you could just take it off if it looks stupid. <laughs> looks so, I know, it looks like a troll doll. Look like. Hers is so tall. Well, it's so hopefully cool. this works. And today, we're gonna go to the Hoover Dam. So, we're still at the house. <laughs> it is almost 10.45. We were, I think we were originally going to leave here at like, like 10 at the latest. We actually left at like 9.22. We were doing, oh my gosh, really? The time as we, were, we walked out of the house. So, we walk out of the house. And originally what we were going to do was we were going to drop off Kyle and McKenna's car. They were going to get like oil change, all that stuff on their car. And then I was going to pick them up and we were all going to go to the Hoover Dam. But we leave the house and we see that their car has been towed. Like it's not where it was. And this entire time has been like a big mess of trying to figure out exactly why their car has been towed when they're on the restricted towing list, how to pick it up and how we're going to be reimbursed with all of this. It's just a big mess. So now it's like an hour later and we're gonna go pick up their car from the towing company and ask them like why this even happened because it shouldn't have happened because they were on the restricted towing list and it's just so frustrating. Not the best way to start a Saturday morning, but it does make things a little bit more interesting. So now we're gonna go pick up their car, hopefully, fingers crossed. You guys ready? Let's do Let's this. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna go try to pick up the car that got towed. Can help you guys. Hi, um, we need to pick up a car that was towed this morning. Can I have your ID? Are you the register owner? Uh, uh, I am. The register owner's ID. Yeah. And the register would be inside of the car, right? The what? The registration. Uh, it was. Oh, you have it here? Oh, perfect. That was from the from the dealer. Kyle, I know it's not your fault. However, we can audit it. Mhm. Try to go to the DMV. Portal login to see if, um, I was waiting to go to the DMV because we get uh, oh, registration. Register we get registration exempt for taxes because I'm military. So we can't even pick it up until it's fixed, changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the saga continues. We didn't pick up the car because the registration and the information on the car. Apparently, the dealership where Kyle bought the car put in his middle name where his first name should have gone. So that's a big issue because it basically looks like. Norman Gott owns the car, not Kyle Gott. We're calling the dealership right now because they have to get that all straightened out before we can even pick it up. Uh, I don't know itself. about the 2005 Saturn Ion. The letter that you gave me from the DMV, the you put my middle name as my first name on the on the letter, and they will not accept that. So we're in a situation where we're staying with friends, and the car got towed, but the towing company won't release my car because 
the only thing that we have it registered as is the letter from the DMV that you had given me, and it doesn't have my correct name on it because it has my middle name instead of my first name on Monday. Like, is there any way he can come in this weekend just to do it because no, we need because to because this out. place that gives this letter isn't open until Monday. <sighs> so... I wonder if we should go talk to these guys because I don't know okay. what's going to happen to your car here Can't for, do. like, days. You know what I mean? Especially because that's not yeah. even our fault. Yeah. So, here's the deal. We just moved here. We don't have a house yet. We are living with, with her. With me, which is the... Address. His address doesn't have her address because it's not our physical home. We literally just moved here. So we don't have a house. We're in the process of looking for a house and we're supposed to be put on this list. We have an email that says, I'm putting you on, on the, the list. list. Yeah. And then we get towed, but then, well, then the other happen. people. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. And we've these. emailed all of them, but then they're not open till Monday. Everybody's and closed during the And then weekend. the people, we called the dealership and they said the, the people name. that change your name on that paper aren't open till Monday. So we have absolutely nothing we can do, until but then we're not Monday. approved for it. And like his ID says Kyle Norman got, I understand like his first name isn't there and that's not our fault, but the people who fix it aren't open till Monday. So like, what are we supposed okay. to do? Okay. We're pretty much good to leave it here until we can get everything figured out Monday. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. How, how much can we expect to pay on Monday? Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a good one, guys. You, you too. <laughs> oh my gosh. So because the vehicle has to sit here for a couple more days because we don't have the proper information and paperwork and we can't even get any of that stuff done and fixed until Monday, $413.57 just to get it back. Whatever it happens, but it sucks because it's not our fault. All right, we are just coming out of Boulder City at the moment and we just came over this hill and check out this view. That's Lake Mead and this is beautiful. We are just about to come to the security checkpoint at Hoover Dam. We were kind of aggravated this morning with everything going on with the car, but now we are all good. We're back to the regular plan, which was originally see the Hoover Dam. So that's what we're about to do. Bye. Oh, thank you. Bye. Okay. That was, that was, that was really quick. We are at the Hoover Dam. I feel like if you've been watching for a while, you totally know what this looks like, but this is the Hoover Dam. That is the bridge to, that most people drive across. A while ago, you had to drive over the dam to go to Phoenix or like to Arizona, but now it's kind of like blocked off and people can just go for like being a tourist. And then Lake Mead is right down here. And we are so hungry. We actually ended up packing lunches and so we put it in cooler. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that the Hoover Dam was in Arizona or Nevada. Now you know. Yeah. So you're like, Hoover Dam's like 45 minutes away. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're close. We're close to Arizona here. So yeah, it's right on the border of Nevada and Arizona, right on the Columbia River. Columbia? No, Colorado. We parked up there, which is in Arizona, and we're gonna walk across over here this side is Nevada. And this line is where the water level used to be. Isn't that crazy? Just how low it is? So far down, right? <laughs> Look at the cars down there. How do you think they even got down there? They had to come from all the way like that way, right? That built into the wall. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite things about Hoover Dam is just the style of it all. Like the doors and everything because it was created in the 30s. So we have these big brass doors that are like amazing. And then the art out here is so cool. So cool. walked across the dam and now we're headed back to the car actually because we're gonna hop in the car and then drive up to this little area up here where you can walk across the bridge. This bridge is really windy so I'm not sure if you can hear me but it has like six pokey stops all along it. So we're like walking the full way down just 
catching Pokemon and going to the Pokestops. Oh, and also, this is the view. Amazing. Amazing. So guys, what did we think about the bridge? There were so many Pokestops. There were so many Pokestops. Yeah, we pretty much just went up there and there were like six Pokestops. It was great. All the Pokeball. To see new things and great views and... It worked out? It was, yeah. It was a good view, <laughs> it was a good view wasn't it? Really, it was really good. I I almost prefer the view from down below though. Agree, More. agree. So now we're headed back to the car. I guess we're gonna head on back home and just enjoy the AC in the car. <laughs> so now I am introducing Kyle McKenna to Fry's Electronics. If you have never been to a Fry's Electronics store before, the best way I can describe it is like Best Buy on steroids. It's the best place to buy any sort of electronic. I mean, that's really the best way I can describe it. This is where Blake always comes when he wants to build a new computer because they they have like um, graphics cards and everything all ready to go. So we're actually here because these guys need a new tripod, yeah? Desperately. Desperately need a new tripod. They need a new tri tripod before the 11th because we're actually going to go stargazing. It's going to be amazing and because there's a meteor shower that's gonna be happening the night of the 11th. We're in Fry's. We're looking at all of the different tripods that they have here and there's not exactly one that like works it's what we want yeah exactly because all of them the biggest thing is that all of these have like a plate that sits right in here and it like detaches but this one works it's, yeah. it's like connected yeah so you screw it straight into your camera yeah a lot of people might not like it because you can't just like quick release your yeah. camera but, but i'm cool like yeah, I don't care to quick release it because once I quick release it, the plate looks stupid on the bottom of the camera, <laughs> the camera and it's just dumb on this camera. So I need one without the plate. Yeah. This is the only one I've seen so far. Cool. That has that. That so has all keep, the things. Yeah, all these we can still look at. Yeah, still looking, but so far that one's working. Good. Yeah. Kyle and McKenna got a new tripod, so I would say it was a successful trip. Hungry? I was hungry. I, I could eat. What are you thinking? In and out. I, I'm down. Are you down? Yeah. I'm so down. Let's do it. And fries they had which is totally a Washington thing that I don't know if anybody's actually gonna care about at all but they had apples and cutlets which are basically like not gummies but they're like fruit chews with like nuts inside of it from the apples and like I totally am from, to try that they're, yeah they're from Washington and it's like totally a Washington thing and it like blew my mind I was like oh my gosh they have apples and cutlets here I haven't seen that since I drove through like Yakima I'm just excited to get home how excited are you to not shave anymore? I mean, for a while. Uh, pretty excited for that, yeah. That's gonna be awesome. And no haircuts. Yeah, that'd be nice. yeah I mean, I, I kind of, I like this. I got compliments on it. You did? You got complimented yeah. on your hair? Ooh. Yeah, three or four different people. I like yeah. it, I like your hair. Now, what's that beeping? Beeping? Mm -hmm. I don't hear any beeping. Oh, never mind. Is it you? It's my alarm, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Everywhere. Lucky you. Not really. No. There was a giant, like, it looked like a daddy long legs, but the legs were thicker. Like, you know how daddy long legs has the like, really thin legs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this one had, like, thicker legs than that, but it was, like, it looked like a daddy long legs. Like, I had a like, kind of tiny body, but it had big legs and everything. It was crawling outside of my door when I uh, came back from the shower. That's freaky. Yeah, it was kind of weird. So I just kind of stared at it for a second and then <clears throat> went inside and locked my door. <laughs> You're like, no thanks, get away. Yeah. <laughs> no, do not enter. Yeah, you, can, you, yeah, you, you can, shall not yeah. pass. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you'll come home soon and hopefully we can talk soon. I just miss you. I know, I mean, getting out of here is the hardest thing to do. I know. It's not like you go to Alaska Airlines and buy tickets. I know. A little bit more complicated okay. than that. It's so hot. Like right. When it kind of rains there. Yeah. And it gets super humid. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Ew. Well, you're going to come home soon, and then it'll be a little bit more pleasant. I hope so. And we can have all kinds of fun. Yeah. I mean, I won't even care because I won't be here. I won't have to wear my uniform every day. It'll be nice. Yeah. I can wear shorts. And Metallica t shirts? Yeah, my Metallica t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> and my, my t-shirt that has all the ducks on it that people don't understand. Oh, the Bayhane featured? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to kiss your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> your stubbly <laughs> cheeks. I'll get my operator beard going. <laughs> I don't know how much I can get. I mean, I can probably grow a lot in two weeks. 
You have a decent, like, you can grow a decent beard. Yeah, I'll, I'll try, and then I'll take my leave, hopefully. And... Grow it even bigger. Babe. Babe. Why? This is the worst part about being separated is the lack of communication. I'm so sad. Noelle, is this your bed now? Well, it is time to end the vlog. It's getting quite lengthy. For today's question of the day, I feel like I've asked this possibly in the past, but what is the most inconvenient thing that has ever happened to you? Kyle and McKenna getting their car towed is probably quite up there and once this all gets straightened out i'm pretty sure we'll fill you guys in a little bit more but unfortunately we're kind of our hands are tied until the weekend is over so we're going to continue having fun this weekend even though we're missing a car <laughs> but yeah super inconvenient to wake up to find out that your car has been towed have you ever been in a similar situation before what did you do about it how did it resolve itself let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye